I don't know if you could hear that. Of course, what I want to film, they're doing construction back there. Anyway, to me, one of the biggest misconceptions about having a pickup truck is because people think because you have this big bed back here, which mine is full of firewood right now, you have an unlimited amount of storage, which just simply is not true. Sure, if you're helping a friend move, you have uh, expanded space for hauling stuff. But for everyday, day-to-day -day storage, nothing goes in here. Everything goes here. And I'm not talking about cigar cases or sunglass cases. All that stuff goes up front. We're talking about ice scrapers in the winter, with breaker bars for changing tires on the road, ratchet tie-downs, bungee cords, hats and gloves, extra parts from stuff you've taken off the truck and re replaced. Speaking of which, radio antenna. I changed mine to the bullet antenna. If you don't have one, you need one, but I always keep the extra parts in the truck as well. And of course, Banging Gears COVID-19 masks. So I'm talking about this, the day-to-day -day stuff that I need in my truck that just kind of flops around in the back. So today we're gonna resolve that. We're gonna install the WeatherTech under seat storage system which helps store and organize all your day-to-day -day items. So stick around. So thanks for tuning back in. I'm Frank. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Banging Gears, where we cover car shows and events during the summer months, which looks like that today, but it is the middle of February, and some do-it-yourself tutorials, which usually have to do with my Cobra replica, but today, again, we're working on the Ford F-150. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, maybe subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell. If you're a regular on this channel, thanks for coming back. I appreciate your patronage. Um, and I want to give a shout out to my third gear member, my only member membership so far, Ryan. Thank you for your support. Love you, buddy. So before we get started on installing the WeatherTech system, I want to mention something real quick. I did purchase this on Amazon um, and I had to call the company because on Amazon, it says it's not made for the 2020 Ford F-150. So I called WeatherTech um, and had to make sure, because I want to show you, let's flip this down real quick. It is product 4S003. And they can see it right there, I'll zoom in. It says for the design to fit the 2015-2018 Ford F-150 and the 2015-2000 Ford F-150. And then the Raptor and everything on this Super Duty. But when you go on Amazon, it tells you it's not going to fit the 2020. So I, like I said, I had to call WeatherTech to get the product number just to make sure. We're going to install it and make sure it does fit. So if you do are interested in this product, I'll put the link in the description below. But mind you, when you go on Amazon to purchase it, if you have a 2020, it's probably going to say it doesn't fit. But like it says right there, it does. So let's get it installed. Okay. Yay, trash. Okay, so here this is. You know what, let's put it on the ground so you guys can see it better. So this is what you get. You just get this big long plastic piece, which is like I said, it's gonna fit under the, the seat. And because the seat actually is 
uh, inclined in the front. It actually goes in the truck this way. And then you get the instructions and the leather strap. Uh, you could use the leather strap. I'm going to because I want to show you guys exactly how you use it, install it properly. But you can zip tie it as well, probably, if you want to go that route. Um, the simple install just lays in and you strap it in and you're done so it doesn't slide around. So let's get to it. Okay. So it literally just lays right in there like that. Okay, so after you get it where you want it, you're going to see on the storage unit, there's two notches right here. And on the truck itself, hopefully you could see, I'll move the camera, there's this little square hole right here in this bracket for this seat. So the strap that, that you get is going to go through these two and through that, and then you're just going to latch it. It's just that simple. So I took the one end off so I could snake it through because I want to be able to go down one and up in the other, just like so. Then we're gonna come up and down. So it locks into place. You're gonna put the storage unit where it goes. You're gonna run the one side through the square, like so. Attach it and then slowly pull your excess. Let me get my foot out of there. Nice and tight. Just like so. And it's done. And it's in place. So you can see when the seat sits down, it sits right on top and it really doesn't have any effect and it keeps everything hidden. Now, what I've noticed already is that it's a little sloppy back here, to be honest. So I'm gonna probably end up zip tying it. There's lots of holes everywhere in the seat bracket for you to zip tie things to. I'm just gonna drill a couple of holes in here. Um, because I think this is just kind of that's not very secure I'm sure when the seats are down obviously it's not going to go anywhere but I need it to be better than this so I'm going to get a, a small little drill some zip ties and uh, I'm going to drill some holes in it and secure it on um, both ends a lot better than it is from the factory okay so we'll be right back so I just drilled a couple of holes in the weather tech and I'm gonna feed I have a long zip tie you're not gonna be able to do it with just one so I'm gonna feed the zip tie through and bring it up through the bottom hole just like that and then I'm gonna put the case into place like so and then I'm going to zip it through this these two holes here on this seat bracket and I'm just going to go underneath this with this one here you can see it come out on the other side um, and then probably going to have to use another zip tie to connect it and then it'll be sturdy <laughs> So product description rating, it's always going to be a five for the product itself. For the installation, not so much. You might be better off figuring something else out on your own with some zip ties. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't discourage you from the product because like I said, it's a good product. It's going to serve me well and keep everything I need at my fingertips on a daily basis. So with that, the link is always in the description below if you're interested. A couple of other companies make this product, like Husky. You might want to check them out as well. Uh, but that's it from this episode of Banger Gears. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. 
Hopefully when the weather changes, we get some car shows in here. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Bang Engage.